We have a big show for you tonight. You know, you really don't need to know too much more to solve equations that are very useful containing percents. Prepare to be astonished. When I work with percent equations, I say there are three groups of interpretations, if you would. And these three will take you a long way. Anything that contains the word what, or how much, or any kind of a question like that, we're going to interpret to a variable. Y or A. Most people like to use X. So any kind of a question like that, we'll replace it from English to math language, if you would, with X. Any verb or action word like was or is or would be is going to interpret to your old buddy the equal sign. He's the only thing that actually uh, is or, or states an is, if you would. That's two out of the three. And finally, you already know this. The word of or on is always replaced in math with multiplication. Let's try one. What is 6% of $45.50? Well, let's go one, I mean, I'm talking, let's go one word at a time. You'll get to know this. What interprets to X? I told you, any question word interprets to X. Is becomes, we just said, equals. Now, 6% is already in math language, so we just write, it's already a number. Right, 6% of is times, and there again, 4550 is already as a number. So you've got your equation. It's pretty easy. We just went word for word. Now, how do we solve this equation? X is already by itself, so all we'll have to do is multiply. It's going to be critical to be able to change that 6% to a decimal so that we can multiply. We know that that becomes 6 one hundredths. Multiply that times 4550, and you've got your answer. Does that seem reasonable? 6% of 4550? It does. Hey, this is great, man. So all you need to do is those three categories of information. Now, we don't need to know any more if we have to work backwards. No more. Watch this. 312, we want to say, suppose we wanted to know 312 is 75% of what number? Well, let's once again have the discipline go one word at a time. 312, already in math language, is becomes equals 75%, already a number. Remember what of is times, and what number? becomes x. Okay? I'm going to treat what as what number. Now, I've got to solve for x. In this case, x is not alone. So, I'm going to first of all replace that 75% with the correct decimal. And then, I, what do I have to do to get rid of the 75 one hundredths? Well, he's multiplying x, so I'll divide Wait x. Got to do it to both. And what I'll end up with is x equals whatever 312 divided by 75 one hundredths is. Ends up being 416. Excellent. And that's the answer. Involves changing a fraction to a decimal, or to a percent anyway. What percent of 80 would be 68, or would 68 be? Once again, let's take it one word at a time. What? That's x. Percent, I'll well, just write it, it's already in math language, of or on always becomes times. 80's all ready to go. Now would be, or could be, or is, is going to be equals. And then 68 is ready to go. So we've got to get x alone. Once again, who's keeping it from being alone? The 80. Well, since he's multiplying, 
I'll divide. And x percent is going to be this fraction, 68 over 80. Now, 68 over 80, one thing, we're just going to change it to a decimal, dividing top by bottom, and you'll get 0.85. Wait a minute. Well, red to the hundredths, we shouldn't say 0.85, we should say 85 one hundredths. And what percent is 85 one hundredths? 85 percent. Well, you're going to have to practice this. So get to that homework.